Hi, I'm Bob Ross, and for the next 13 weeks, I'll be your host as we experience the joy of ultimate bravery. I think each of us, sometime during our life, has wanted to random everything. I think there's a <laughs> hit in the bottom of every single one of us. And here we will try to show you how to bring that <laughs> out to put it on the rift. Because you too. Wish and flick. So today we're gonna be doing another challenge, but this one is gonna be at higher elo. The site's gonna give me a random build, and I'm gonna draw inspiration from the build. I'm seeing some kind of damage dealing recon build. The main issue for me is that I've never played recon before. Playing it at diamond with a random build is for sure gonna be a loss. I'm seeing a tank vein here. Uh, AP kindred, split pushing shiv, AP hybrid gangplank on hit ziggs. Okay, this is a build I could actually work with. One thing I probably wouldn't want to go against as a zig support is a blitz crank. So I'm gonna ban out blitz. I'm gonna hover my zig support. Hopefully. Hopefully that doesn't tilt them seeing a zig support in diamond elo for example my adc is d4 96 lp so hopefully this doesn't tilt him he's already questioning the build this is gonna be a lot harder video for me because the people that are in diamond like they take the game really seriously this guy has 410 games this season thing is we have a wukong jungle so i think i'm just gonna dodge this anyways i think that wukong might have been baiting out the dodge i've not seen a jungle wukong ever do well maybe he saw me hovering zigs and he was trying to bait a dodge all right so i was looking over my recording to see what the wukong's name was to see if he was a wukong main and my hair looked awful and oh my god yes this is amazing so this this guy was hovering echo but then they picked echo instead which is amazing because i was considering dodging the echo player but he probably knows how to counter echo i think i'm gonna be forced to go airy this game and like kind of an aggressive build do 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 Oh, I think I got it. I'm gonna ignite. Someone went heal. That's actually good because there's a lot of talents that increase your heal power and it also applies to your summoner spell heals. So yeah, and we got a Galio and an Echo. That is actually fantastic. I do not see Echo winning that lane. And that's not good. That's a flash. Not a good place to stand when you're AFK. If you're AFK, always stay on the tower. So one of the comments the guy was like, I don't recommend doing this every video because it's gonna become stale. I do kind of agree. If every video was low elo ultimate bravery, it would be kind of become stale, I think, after a while. That being said, I'm still gonna be doing a lot of those videos. So I'm be throwing high elo games every once in a while too. One thing you may notice is I went dark seal because as an ADC, I'm not really an ADC actually, I'm an APC. We're gonna be trading a lot of autos. Like this right here is actually a really good trade. That's a lot of damage. Scars here. I think I got her. Nice. She's got heal a bit. The reason why I flashed there, it's awkward, but... Oh my god, I gotta get this. No, I tried to throw the bomb at the end, but I wouldn't have killed him. I, I wasn't paying attention where his quills were. That was a mistake. Hopefully this guy... Oh man, that's such a bad TP. Did they even get anything? I have to rotate top. Stay bot. I'm rotating top here. This is the play. There's no way I'm going back bot right now. Big mistake that low elo players would do in this situation is running back to bottom. We have to lane swap here. I don't know when we're going to be able to lane swap back, but it's going to probably be a while. And I had to get sword boots early on, you guys. I can't go for like Zerk or Greaves. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that in this game. The game is already way too close. We really lost a lot of momentum there with the failed TP. Like that was really, really bad just in terms of game momentum. I don't blame him for it. Like it wasn't necessarily the worst decision making, but the result was really not good for us. In hindsight, that play was my fault as I was thinking I could solo the Zaya, but she knew exactly where her quills were so props to her on that one if those didn't hit me and i hit my q i think i would have killed her that being said though the tp went out and i should have stayed on the tp i wouldn't have died and the scarner would have died i think we push this out and then we rotate back we don't want to be laning this scion he can fall up really easy to gank especially when he's six all right now we're gonna try to get a rotation back i think that actually worked out pretty well we got all that sticky situation all right so the first item i'm gonna go is gunblade just on how this game is playing out like i can't afford to be going ad zigs or like a wits end right now we need to be able to lane these guys if i go wits end we're not gonna be able to lane these guys and we're just gonna get dumped on that's a that's the Scion bot, I think. One thing that sucks about Ziggs, I believe they nerfed his R to where it doesn't clear a wave of creeps anymore. Like, it used to be really nice because you could reset the wave. And they actually might have changed it back. Like, they've been changing a lot of stuff lately, and I'm really a fan of them doing that. Like, the way I think gaming is in general is it's about adaptation. There should be a lot of changes happening a lot of the time. And I'm just going to try to clear the creep wave. We'll just see what happens. Yeah, see, so it doesn't even clear the caster ones. It's not as good as it used to be the planners i think i'm gonna rush azonias to be fair there is a sunfire cape in the build so it is kind of calling for an armor build that's how this higher little ultimate bravery thing's gonna go because there's no way that i can carry games if i go some uber garbage build in diamond like it's just not happening dude we'll be able to scare this guy towards the galio i didn't ignite him i should have No. I think I got that guy. I got him, okay. I saved my ult for a long time there. I probably could ult it earlier. Just silent bot. Oh, nice. That was a waste of his ult. Okay, maybe not. Echo has ult. Gotta be watchful for that. He could ult on me at any time. Gotta watch that ulti. 
Oh god, I wasted my mana. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, nice. You can see the way this game is progressing. Like, there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to go some like uber troll build and like win the game. And when we get to late game scenario, I'm gonna need a real item. So I went for the support item. That's gonna give me some extra gold per 10. And it also helps in trades as well. It's not as good for people farming anymore because when you kill a minion, it slows how fast the item recharges, but it's still a pretty good item, I think. I think I would still get on Teemo. Like, I'm not exactly sure. I might be kind of testing it out here. Wow, dude. Cannot believe he just did that without his ultimate up. That was really bold of him. Make it ocean, but we might be able to turn a fight here. Like we, he should be way more aggressive because their mid's dead. Like there's no reason to be passive here. I got him. Oh man. Okay, good. If they were just more aggressive, this is not gonna work because I have armor. This is a good initiation, I think. I got that kill, I think. No. I maybe could have been more aggressive there. How did Sona die? Wait, am I tripping out? What is that guy doing? That wasn't it, dude. This guy is old, so we gotta be careful. There's nothing this Echo can do, though. Like, he's he can't solo the Galio right now. Just kidding. Okay, maybe there's something you can do. I got my thing off instantly, though. Oh, we got the ult off. Okay, that was good. That was good. Maybe he shouldn't have ulted me. Oh, that's their Scion. Oh, I didn't get behind the wall. No. Dang. This is really bad they got that objective. We have to force here, like, really badly. That was a good thing. I wish I had my ulti, dude. I, I ulted the creep wave earlier. Yeah, so that was really good. Sion is not ulting anything. I will tank that ult. The Sion, the thing resets, though, after, if he misses, yeah. I have armor, so he can't do anything. He might actually be dead here. Do I have flash here? I think I do. Just, just to see if he has flash. If he doesn't have flash, then he's dead. And it's worth my flash to go for it. I don't know why Fjord is that deep, dude. Not the first time we've had a sacrifice for her sake. Well, that's good, though. Oh, no. Oh, wow, Jarvan's doing so much work, dude. Oh, he missed his thing. No. Missing that EQ is going to kill him a bit. Bomb. I got him, I got him, I got him. Can I get this? LeBron! LeBron! Oh! Okay, this guy is going to be using his thing. Oh, God, I missed his home guard. That's not good. I should have used those earlier. Okay, I'm fine, though. We have to kill a tank Scion and a tank Skarner. And they have a Zaya Janna. Like, the Echo, I'm not really worried about. But everything else is, like, pretty... That guy's dead. I should have ulted earlier. I didn't even see I had my ult up. This is the perfect opportunity to Baron. Just help tank it. Take a few shots. I got some regen, so... Okay, Skarner's here. We knocked him away. Maybe we just turn on them. Um, Zaya's dead, I think. Got her. Um, do I have anything? Nope. That was good though. We got a kill for nothing. Oh, this is this guy's dead, I think. I ignited him. I have my ulti. Oh god. Oh, that was a good knock up by the Galio. Oh, this Galio's doing work. Well, my flash thing was a fail. You guys can kind of see why I dodge Echo players. Like, what is he doing there? Who knows? Okay, I might have to ult here for vision. I don't think they're all in the pit, though. It's a thing. Oh, they are. They're not on the pit. They were baiting. Okay, that's right. That's good. That's really good. I'm getting chased by Echo. Okay, good, good, good. Nice. That's really good. Okay. I actually don't know what just happened. Like, I was literally just getting zoned out by Echo the entire fight. Oh, I'm gonna sell my Corrupting, and I'm gonna get Rylize here. I think the Kiting will be good. Or I can get Void Staff. I don't know if Rylize is even all that good, to be honest, because my E already slows. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go Rylize. I think I'm gonna go Void Staff here. Their Echo has a Medjai, so he has no stacks on it. Maybe I just have really bad luck with Echo players, but this is how I see all Echo players in my games. The way we're gonna fight this is, like, that's actually the way we're gonna fight this. 
One person, they just gotta die. Like, there's squishy people just need to die. Jarvan is carrying this game. He's got 20 kills. Like, he has one shot so many people this game that have just allowed us to win fights. Wow. Okay. We got Ocean Drake. Okay. That means this guy's gonna be really far, slow back. This guy should not be this far up, dude. That means when his team gets back up, they're not gonna be able to fight because their Skarner's dead. Now the. I feel like the Jaina might be dead too. I'm kill that Zaya. Let's go Igniter. Gotta kill that Zaya really badly. Yep, she's dead. That's good. Wow, dude. I can't believe we won that. Holy crap. That Jarvan did so much work that game. I bet he did more damage than like all of us combined. No, actually, I was pretty close to damage to Jarvan. I ended up doing more damage than their Zaya, so that's pretty good. I know something funny. So in this account, I was 1-9 in the placements. And that was when I had just come back to the game. I had taken like a three-month break from high elo. And since then, I've won 11 games and I've only lost four. That's why, like, if you lose a bunch of games, like, you shouldn't get too down on yourself. But yeah, so as the game turned out, I wasn't able to follow the build that well. I did go for some tankiness, and there was tankiness in the build. But as far as, like, on hit, I wasn't able to do that because the game was just way too close. Kleptomancy might have been okay, but I think we would have had a lot less leaning power. Although I did go Ravenous Hunter and Taste of Blood. That was pretty much the only thing with the build that I was able to copy anyways let me know what you guys think do you guys like me doing this challenge in higher low even though i can't really follow the builds exactly and if i do this again hopefully I'll be able to follow the build more closely so yeah everyone in that game was diamond four and if you guys did like this video and you want to see more high low when it comes down to it my last video had 2200 likes and only 33 dislikes so i think it's gonna be really hard to beat that and i'll do this again even if you guys don't beat that but like probably my next two videos are gonna be more bronze bravery videos because you guys seem to really really like that so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace